<laughs> Bruh. Yeah, yeah. Bruh. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to a brand new video. Oh, goodness. What a stupid ass pun. So, we are going to do a little uh, best waifu out of number file tier list. Oh, goodness. Daddy's jumping on the bandwagon, and we are going to dive right in. You can find the link to this not epically made, epically made. <laughs> um, Tier list down in the description probably, so it seems like I can actually share this thing right here. And yeah, you have seen this correctly. Best waifu, waifu out of number file tier list. So we're going to dive right in. Let me take a look. I actually um, cut out the heads of all those people. So um, I put a lot of effort into here. It seems we're going to dive right in. We're going to start off with our... A main spider, Brady Heron. Without him, this number five channel wouldn't even exist. So, where would I even place him? Obviously, he's not a straight S or A just because he has a no clue about mathematics at all. But our boy right here, um, I don't know. Maybe we should just pay some respects to him. Press F to pay respects to Brady Heron. I mean, he's trying to understand something, so. That's okay, I guess. Um, and also he's scoring way down here just because um, his channel suck balls when he just did this Rubik's Cube stuff for like one year straight. That was really annoying, Brady. Don't do shit like this again. Next up, it's your boy. <laughs> Cliff Stoll. I don't even need to say anything about him. Come on, Cliff fucking Stoll, the line bottle guy. Just the best fucking guy ever he was the face of implying we can discuss mathematics for so long so he's a straight s so he's a straight ss boy i would say he's a double s <laughs> so this guy an absolute beast absolutely amazing and we are going to move on with cedric villani so um i would give him an f just because he has won a fields medal and field starts with f so maybe we should pay some respects to him. But if he has gotten the Fields Medal, he is quite good when it comes to mathematics, I think. So we shouldn't put him way down here. Maybe... Uh, mm, but you see, this guy is creepy as fuck. So <laughs> he's quite a weirdo. He's even weirder than me, I would say. So he's getting a... Bruh. Bruh score right here so i guess um he's a real bruh we can put him here so next i would like to give props to our boy um simon pampina if i'm not mistaken he's the elementary geometry guy he made a video on antipodal points so that was quite an interesting video but he produced one of my most favorite number file videos namely epic circus so they were quite epic so um i would give him an E for epic, but I don't have an E right here, so I'm giving him an A because um, he's pretty cool. I I mean, he does cool stuff, and elementary geometry is also quite cool. So yeah, um, that's okay, I would say. Well, next up is your boy Terence Tao. Everyone knows Terence Tao. I mean, he's ridiculously smart. Like he tops it all. He's crazy good at analytic number theory, so I can't really give him anything but an A for analytic number theory. And just look at the smile. Just look at his smile. It's 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 so beautiful. So the next one, it's a grill, is just here for the quotes because I don't want people to say in the comments, Oh, why don't you put grills into the tier list? They are in, oh, they are as good in mathematics as the boys are. Yeah. Come on. So, um, right here we have... What's her name? Um, it was Hannah Fry, I guess. She's the television girl and she does fluid mechanics. So, fluid mechanics is really quite important. So, um, 
I guess she's working on the Navier-Stokes equations, if I'm not mistaken, that has something to do with fluid mechanics. Um, what score could we give her? Um, I mean, she's a girl, so she can't really rank too high. I I give her a C. I, I give her a C. Don't hit on me. C is good enough for a girl, okay? For a krill, that's pretty good. No, I don't have anything against krills. I'm married, so um, I really like krills. Do you see this guy? Uh huh. Can can you see him? That's Tadashi Tokieda, and he's the uh, mathematical sex toy guy. So he's creating a lot of toys. Uh, he has his own series on number five, Tadashi's toys. So um, he's pretty cool. Also, his name sounds Japanese. He's probably. A Japanese boy. And since we are talking about waifus here, he's ranking pretty high. Tadashi is going to get an S score. <laughs> and speaking of S tier boys, here's Matt Parker. So in normal case, this guy with his Parker Square stuff would actually score really high, like an S tier, because he's a pretty cool guy. But just the fact that he didn't send me anything for Math Avengers. Integral Wars is just absolutely outrageous. And that's why he can score any higher than bruh. That has been a real bra moment. I announced you, Matt Parker. I announced you in Integral Wars and you didn't appear because you didn't make it on time because you were ill. That's not an excuse. Being ill is not an excuse. <laughs> you hear that? You better be in um, Euler Game. Okay? You better be part of Euler Game this year. Spoilers ahead. Euler game is going to be a thing. Oh. Next up is your boy Maku Dussault. I hope I have pronounced it correctly. As far as I'm concerned, he only had one appearance at number file up until now. But this one appearance is already enough for putting him somewhere on this list right here. <laughs> so that's the boy. That's the boy right here. The one with the um, not complete face with the incomplete face. And uh, maybe this rings a bell. I'm having this video recommended to me for almost one and a half year now. Every day I see it in my recommended feed on YouTube, where this guy talks spastically about Gödel's incompleteness theorem. And I'm not even into formal logic. I don't even like this topic in mathematics and this guy keeps popping up all the time and it's bloody annoying i tell you this so um yeah just like his head it's incomplete you probably can't even really see his face this boy right here oh he he is ranking really low so please youtube recommended get the shit out of my face it's it's so annoying <laughs> it's so annoying bruh I'm uh, moving on. We have to fulfill the quote right here. We have a second krill. Her name is Holly Krieger, Dr. Holly Krieger. And the thing is, she's doing something that sounds pretty cool. Arithmetic dynamics or dynamic arithmetic, something like this. I'm not really certain. And it sounds like a really cool topic. And also, you see, here on this channel, we like to objectify women. And since she's the only one that looks kind of good she's going to rank pretty high but the thing is um since women don't like to be ranked high right here on papa flemmy's list we also have to give her a c so even though she looks good and she probably <laughs> does some pretty good mathematics she can only rank a c just like henna fry don't take this too seriously i'm also married so um I really like women. I don't objectify them in the normal case, so. Please. Don't be mad at me. Feminists out there. Next up is a well known boy. He appeared a lot of times on Number File. Number File! His name is James Grime. And I tell you this, he's a really nice guy. He's a pretty dope guy so um one time i actually sent him an email asking if he would like to participate in a video or something i really can't remember um he did reply actually so he's getting a lot of emails all the time 
on YouTube and on his personal email address, but he's replying to all of them. So he's a really nice guy and he does pretty good videos on number five. So he, he's pretty cool and he does analytic number theory. So that's already pretty dope. So he's going to rank an S for James Grime. James S. Okay, okay. So he's a pretty good boy. Last but not least are two real big boys. So you see, um, they ruined number file for so many people. And number file, even though they do a lot of stuff heuristically and shit, they like to keep their rigor. So they tend to do high quality stuff in the normal case. But those two boys, Ed Copeland and Tony Padilla, <laughs> are actually two physicists and they were talking about negative 112 and yeah they were doing a bit of algebraic manipulations on divergent series and didn't explain too much they just justified it with the fact that oh string theory st string theory this yeah and that's not a rigorous argument so um they done goofed and that ain't good, that ain't good, so, um, like I said, this ruined number file, and their pretty good reputation for a lot of people, just those two boys, and <laughs> this right here should be Ed Copeland, and the last one is Tony Padilla, and there are approximately 13 reasons <laughs> why I hate this guy, <sighs> that was so bad, this last joke, so, um, I thank you guys for watching, this right here is a pretty Gucci tier list and I hope you did enjoy this video. Making those videos is quite relaxing for me. They they are quite, quite cool actually to do for, for me at least and I hope you do enjoy them too. The, the thing is it's something I don't do in a normal case so this right here is something new to me and it's fun. It's just like back then when I tried to produce bad quality my mice on this channel so with my dog Akiho who's sleeping right there in the corner. Yeah, um, it's quite cool, cool to be honest. And if you want to see more, then let me know in the comments down below. The next May May review is going to come soon, so you don't have to wait for too long up until the next May May review. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, recommend channel if you like, share this video everywhere if you did enjoy this, buy those t-shirts I create, support the channel on Patreon, click on those Quora, questions I post from time to time and up until the next video have a ASMR day. See ya. Die frisst an dem Holz rum.